Today we're going to be looking at special pairs of angles and the terminology that goes with them. Yesterday we talked about one special pair of angles and those were vertical angles and adjacent angles. Today we're going to add two more. We're going to look at angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Now what's sum mean? You add, okay? You add them up and you get 90 degrees. So any two angles who I can add up to be 90 degrees, their measurements, we call those complementary. Complementary. Now they don't necessarily have to be adjacent to be complementary. This example, I have a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. Together they make a 90 degree angle or a right angle. Therefore we can say those two angles are complementary. The example of these two angles, I could say this is angle A and this is angle B. And I know that angles A and B are complementary because they add up to be 90 degrees. And then you may be given an example where they give you a one degree measure, like a 30 degree measurement and they, are, they give you one that's missing and they tell you it's a right angle or 90 degrees, therefore you're to find the missing measure. Well, what are those kind of angles? Those two angles are complementary. So we know that together they should add up to be 90. If I know one of them, I can take 90 minus 30 to get 60. Therefore, I know that the missing angle is 60 degrees or x is equal to 60 degrees. Now in some examples they may tell you, okay, what is the complement of a 50 degree angle? Well, you know that if it's a complement, it's going to add up to be 90 degrees. So I will take 90 minus 50 to get 40 degrees. So I know that the complement of a 50 degree angle would be a 40 degree angle. All right, now let's talk about supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is not 180 degrees. Now the reason I can kind of keep these two straight, C comes before S in the alphabet. So C is the 90 degree or the smaller degree measure. Supplementary is the 180 degree measurement. Those are how they add up to be 180. Or another way I think of it as supplementary is straight. Supplementary is like a straight angle. And a straight angle you know is 180 degrees. So in this example, I have one angle that's 120 degrees, one that's 60 degrees. They add up to be 180, therefore we know they are supplementary angles. If one was missing, let's say that I didn't know this was a 60 degree angle, and I just told you that this was 120, we can find the 60 degree angle by subtracting. Subtract 120 from 180, and you're left with 60. Now, these are adjacent angles. We talked about adjacent yesterday. They share a side. You might have an example in which they are not adjacent, and that's okay. These two down here are example. I have a 70-degree angle and a 110-degree angle. Together, they add up to be 180. So they are supplementary. Okay, we're going to find the missing measures of angles 1, 2, and 3. We are given that this angle has a measure of 120 degrees. Where do you want to start? You want to go to number 3? What do you know about the 120 degree and number 3, angle 3? What do they make? They're adjacent. They make a straight angle, which calls them what kind of a pair? What kind of a special? They're supplementary. So if they're supplementary, they should add up to be 180. So how do I find out what the measure of angle 3 is? I will subtract 180 minus 120, and I get 60. So the measure of angle 3 is 60 degrees. Now how do I get the other two? There's a shortcut you learned yesterday to help us get those. How do I know number one is 60? Because they're what kind of angles? They're vertical. Very good. And then what do you know about the 120 and 2? 
It has to be 120 degrees because they are also vertical angles. And they add up to be 180. If you look, these two make a straight angle or a straight line, so they're supplementary. Do they add up to be 180? And then this way, 2 and 3 are supplementary. They make a straight line. Do they add up to be 180? And again, those two do as well. Any questions on finding the missing measure? Okay, let's take a look at another example. I want you to find the measurement of x. Use what you've learned today to find the measurement of x. When you think you have it, raise your hand. I'll check you, and then you can check your partner. Okay, what do you know about, about this picture? Okay, it's a straight angle. It should add up to be 180. Now, because there are three angles involved, we don't really call them supplementary. We don't just know that they're going to add up to be 180 because they make a straight angle. So let's see what we have so far. We have 75 and 85, which gives you a total of 160 degrees. Okay, I still need some kind of a measurement to get me up to 180. So 180 minus 160 leaves me... 20 degrees, so I know that the missing measurement is 20 degrees. Okay, today we have studied two special pairs of angles. What have they been? Supplementary, which add up to be 180 degrees. Complementary angles add up to be 90 degrees. And you use those pairs in order to find missing measurements oftentimes.